What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am your host, CKW, coming back at you with a new live stream. Hope everyone is having a good week so far. Um, don't have much news about Cobra Kai. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, um, but we have some pop culture news and playoff basketball and hockey is upon us. So we might talk about that a little bit. Um, if you're an NBA NHL fan and, uh, one week away from the NFL draft for football fans. So very exciting. Um, hopefully my glorious new England Patriots don't fuck it up. Just take a quarterback at three. I don't care if it's Daniels or Drake may, as long as it's not a trade down or, or you just take JJ McCarthy at three for whatever dumb reason. But, we got Cobra Kai fam. What's up? How you doing, dude? Uh, we might get season six news in May. Eh, I doubt it, but we'll see. Uh, Bonsai Melissa, I will add you in one minute. Just got to catch up in the chat. She is here. Okay. So someone leaked a photo of the Sekai Taike. Really? Leaks are fine, just not when the leak or spoilers. Um, are you kidding me? It's already starting. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I've seen the photo. Uh, do you have a source? Uh, what's up, Underground? Um, okay. Yeah, people just fucking... They just have to leak stuff. For clicks. What's up, rapper? Uh, yeah, people just never learn. Miguel was in his Miyagi Dogi in the picture. That was a bit of a spoiler, to be honest. Okay, so that basically, that's confirmation right there that Eagle Fang's done. It's not going to be Miyagi Fang. They're going full on Miyagi Do. So that's a good thing. Um, CBK is here. What's up, my dude? How's it going? Um, let's see. Yeah, we all kind of figured that was going to happen. That Miyagi Do was going back to its roots, but if there's anything or anyone else in the photo, it doesn't say anything. Um, we got Dragonfire here. What's up, dude? Came with a podcast intro. Yep. Yes, sir. Have you ever heard the song Lie Liar by Peyton List? Yeah, it's a good song. She should she should uh, do more songs, in my opinion. She's a good singer. Um, uh, she released that in, like, 2018, I think. And uh, she did – what else did she do? Um, I forgot the other one that she released in 2019. Oh, Don't Cry. She did that one, too. And uh, she, did, she did another single for um, – Anthem of a Teenage Prophet movie. Um, I can't remember what the song was. Oh, Dance Till We Die. That's that was another one. Yeah, I, she should write more songs. She's a she's a pretty good singer. Um, she's got a beautiful singing voice. But we're bound to get something in May. Uh, I just I don't see it. It's like what what are they gonna like? What's it gonna be like? I don't. I just I don't see it. I don't think we're getting anything until like June or July or something like that. I just like I just don't think it's realistic. Saw so the leaks actually. All right, where are the leaks coming from? I think the leak was on a social media platform. It's probably on Twitter or IG. All right, Twitter's probably easier, so I'm gonna have to check that. Um, yeah, she's a pretty good singer. She could have been a pop star. Yeah. Probably didn't see any leaks on those leaks or Photoshop Photoshop. Anyway. Yeah. They'll get you with that. Do you think it would be cool to see Peyton list do a movie or show with Cindy Sweeney? Uh, I mean, I guess, but I'm not really familiar with Sydney Sweeney. I only know her because of Madam web. I just heard she was in it. I never even heard of her before. Madam web was a thing. So I don't, I don't know much about her. Um, music kid. What's up? All right, let's go ahead and uh, add Melissa. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Hey, no worries. Bonsai. Bonsai. I enjoyed watching you read the chat. 
Yeah, it's ridiculous with these stupid leaks that they that that they do. I mean, even if even if they are false, you know, yeah, like they, that just gives up so much, you know. Yeah, that's why I'm hoping they don't leak the gee designs like they did for season four because I was like, yeah. I was yeah. excited at first, but I'm like, why would you leak that? Oh, did you uh, did you see in the in in uh, Strike First me Media on that video that he did um, yeah. about how Tori that about how how he has a theory that Tori might not compete in the uh, yeah I watched it. Day? I love Strike, but I just don't agree. Sorry. I hope she does compete. It would just break my heart if she doesn't. Um, like because because like because like just because she's not in the footage that shouldn't even be out anyway. Right. Um, that doesn't like, like, like she's not like, why is all the attention on her? She's not the only one who's not here. Where's Eli at? Where's Dimitri at? Where's everybody else at? Where's chosen? Chosen's not even in there either. Right. Like, like right. use it. Like if we're going to use that logic, then, then like, Oh, Cho chosen has to be with Kumiko. He can't, he can't coach in the Saikai Taikai. Like, Eli and Dimitri must be in college. That must be why they're yeah, not. or or they're or they're going to Comic Con. They're not going to compete. Like like, what are we doing? I uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. I mean, yeah, he he. I mean, he's like, good guy, people just my, honestly. My thought is my thought is that is that she's back in the valley training with Chosen. That's it. Yeah. That that and like if it's thought. if it's if it's being held like in like Barcelona where the others are like. Do people not realize that Chosen's wealthy? Like he can use, like he can afford um, to fly the other students to Barcelona, and then they can just meet up with the others. Like it's like it's not that it's not that deep. Oh, but did you also see that he uh, that he banned uh, Alan uh, Ch Chamberlain or making oh, talk okay. colors? I didn't see that. No, I but think doesn't, so. Doesn't surprise me. If that's I even his real, if that's even his real name, dude. Like, I think he's Tony. He, he pretty much outed himself as Tony Sellers. Like that, like so pathetic. Like this is like it's just sad. Like yeah. it's just sad at this point. Like, did you read bro, the comment that I did? You when he like, called, bro, like he's literally a waste of sperm, dude. Like it's not even well, funny. When you saw the comment that uh, when he when, he commented on one of your uh, he commented on your comment. Um, I probably didn't. if it's on Instagram, I didn't see it. No, I no, not on Instagram. Um, on the on the YouTube on the video. I, 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 probably, I probably didn't see it because I have them blocked on everything. But I told him, you know, I I told him you should read the comment that I wrote that I told him because I really told him off. For that. Yeah, I'll have to read that. Yeah, I agree. They need to market this season. Don't do what you did with yeah. season five. It's the last season. That's why they should do the two volumes thing because that would build up so much hype. Uh, send me the yeah, if you could, that'd be good. I mean, I don't mind them, but um, it's, I just don't like I, I just think it's disrespectful towards the creators and the cast because they work their asses off, you know, making this season for our, you know, enjoyment and entertainment and. Um, you just have people ruin it, not just for the fans, but for them right. because they want they want to surprise the fans. Like, exactly, they want them to have a good reaction. They want to enjoy what they're taking in. You know. Yep. Let's see. I don't think it's. Oh gonna, my god! I don't think it's gonna happen. Tori Thanks, has to come. Okay, so yeah, he just sent me them. All right, so now I know what the arena looks like. That's fantastic. All right. Oh, they showed the the arena. Did they yeah, show yeah, it's the yet? arena. Yeah, it's the it's the arena and the mats and stuff. <laughs> and they got the they even got a whole leaderboard too. It says Sekai Taikai on it. Wow, damn. Did they show? Did they show them all in Miyagi Do Geese? Just I only see Miguel. That's it. Like, like they're not in the best quality. They're like pixelated and shit. But I can see Miguel in a Miyagi Dogi. 
and he has so a black belt. Yeah. And he has like this other yeah. this other sensei or like in a blackie, I guess. I don't freaking know, but damn. All right, thanks, CBK. That's uh, probably a Cobra Kai. That's probably a Cobra Kai. He's in a black. It's piece. it's it's like a black gray faded color. So, so I don't, this, I don't yeah, but does know. that look like that? Wasn't that the same kind of e that that uh, Crease was wearing? And, I mean, uh, I guess it looks it looks more like Chosen's gi in season three, but I don't know. What do you think of the theory that Tori? Yeah, I just talked about that. I don't agree yeah. with that. Yeah, no. She's, if she's she doesn't, good. for whatever reason, they better give me a legit reason other than just her mom, you know, passing. No reason will be ever good enough for me. I want her to compete. Even if she like, doesn't, like, I want her to compete. Because then, like, what's the point of her season four and season five arc? Like, what's the point? Right. Because, like, she wants to prove she's the best at something. She wants to redeem her fraudulent win. Like, she wants to prove that it wasn't a fluke. Right. I mean, even if she doesn't win, um, even if she doesn't win, I still want her to compete. I yeah, want her to um, be the second tech guy. And, like, if she doesn't compete, then who's freaking backing up Sam? Is it Devin? Yeah, good luck with that. Right. And I love Devin. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on Devin, but she's just not, she's not, like, she's there's a huge drop off between Sam and Tori and Devin. It's not even close. Right. She couldn't even beat Sam. Yeah. Sam like beat her four to nothing. Yeah, and, and that match was rigged, by the way. Yeah. And Sam still beat her. Right. So really, Sam actually beat her four to nothing. Yeah. Sure, Tori will compete, but I think something will happen. I'll cause her to forfeit or something. Um, my theory is that she gets injured by one of yeah, Kim's students, too. and but 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 it's too late because Tori has them wear down enough for Sam to just finish them off. Right. So that's why I think she should can compete to make Sam's job a little easier, and if she do, and it'll take a lot of pressure off of Sam. Yeah. You see the pressure she's through, like, because, like, when Daniel said, refers to her as, like, LaRusso 2.0, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like being called that. She hates it. No. Like, you can tell on her face, she does not like being called that. Nope. She just, she wants to be her own person. Yeah, freaking Tony Sellers is freaking a clown, dude. Like, he's the freaking... Yeah. He actually even got like banned on all the parties. Like he's the freaking Ben Simmons of the fucking Cobra Kai community. Like, like, did like freaking like this dude is so dumb. He makes Mac Jones look like a Hall of Famer, dude. Like it's ridiculous. Oh, there's no way this is Dragonfire right here. Or no, oh, is that Dragon? No, that is Dragonfire. Yep. Where's Karate? Oh, yeah. Karate has a wrench on his name, so you know that's him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. I'm surprised he's here because I thought he'd be busy because he's been busy with stuff. Uh, if you don't get anything, else, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show it because it reveals a lot, so I'm not going to do it. I mean, I'll look for it on Twitter, but I'm not going to show it. Yeah, like I, I commented on Strike. I will be heartbroken. I, I don't care what reason they give, even if it's a yeah. good reason for them to ha for her not to compete, for her not competing in the second tech, I will be heartbroken. And that and then I'll actually be believing that they do actually hate T Tori's character. And yeah. that will be that will be my breaking point because I will be heartbroken. I mean, yeah. I may not see her. Winning unless they do the dojo thing, which is what I'm actually hoping for, where they win as a dojo. But story, you know, story wise, I do see Sam and Robbie taking it, you know, uh, um, winning if they go in that direction. But I will yeah. be heartbroken if they don't have Tori com competing with them. Yeah, and so like I, I hate it when creators like hate their own characters. 
I'm like, buddy, you literally created the character. Why would you create the character if you don't like him? It just doesn't make sense. Uh, right. We got CBK. What's up, dude? Hey, CBK. Oh. Uh, Tori Knopf. Yeah, I would be too. Um, it's probably, no, it's not Photoshop. It's real. I, I can tell it's real. All right, we got Cobra Kai Karate. What's up, dude? What's up, Karate? What's, up, so? What's in episode three coming out? Yeah. I'm waiting oh, for gosh. like a month now. Don't need it. I'm still waiting for uh I'm the reason why Hector's it. not returning part three and part he, three and four. Yeah, he's he's not he's not he's not doing it because he said <laughs> he, he he said that he's already stated everything he needs to, so oh. but well, yeah, he, did, he, did, he, did, he did confront me about um my theory of Hector showing up at uh fucking I almost said Karate's wedding, Jesus. Um, I said, I said, on, I think it was watch party stream that like, I could see Hector showing up at Carmen and Johnny's wedding to like stir up trouble. And he did not like that. Yeah. I think Tori should compete the whole tournament. I would not like if she got hurt. Yeah, but it would set up, it would set up, be a good way to set up Sam's window. If they didn't do the whole dojo win, I'm still hoping that they do the whole dojo yeah. win. Like, they're gonna find a way for Sam to win without it being too controversial with like Tori because, um, because in season four they had to find a way to take out Miguel so Eli could win. Because, right. like, we all know, even. Like, even though Miguel, like, his back was, like, bothering him, he could have still beaten Eli easily. But um, but we knew that, like, once he got to the finals with Robbie, Miguel was getting waxed by Robbie because Robbie was at his full strength. And, you know, the two had, you know, beef. And all, my, all Robbie really had to do was go for his back. Like, that's all he really had to do. Which I don't know if he would have done. Probably not because he has more honor and integrity than yeah. obviously silver and crease. But um, I still think you like if he had Miguel, he would have won. But yeah, um, yeah. and Miguel and Miguel wasn't focused. Like no, there's so much shit going on in his head. Like um, like the stuff with Samantha. You had. Um, the back injury, the stuff with Johnny when Johnny was drunk, and he said, like, he called him Robbie, and like, I just broke Miguel, and Miguel is like, and just like the stuff Johnny was saying about Hawk, like, take him out. Like, yeah, I love Johnny, but he's kind of on some BS in that episode, if I'm being honest. I and ironically, Crease was the one, the reasonable one at, towards the end, <laughs> yeah. So it was now, that's awful. scary. Now, that is scary. When you've got Creases, the reasonable one out of the two. Oh my god. Here's my idea. Robbie and Tori win the under 18 brackets while Miguel and Sam on the 18 and 20 brackets. They're the same age though. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like sense. I said, like like I've said before, I've said this in the beginning. Everybody is going to get their win. They're going to satisfy everybody. It may not be the win that everybody wants the characters to get. But they're going to get a win. Yeah. Period. End of story. They're going to get That's a fantastic. win. Arc. All right. Um, what else we got? I have not seen it yet, and I don't want to see it. All right. Well, I won't send it to you then. But I'm going to send it to him. Don't do it, dude. Just to piss him off. I mean, um, that's, CKW, I, mean I, I mean, I'm not going to stop you, but I mean, CKW, you, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing it. I won't spoil it for anybody. Um, you can send it to me on it's on Instagram. All if right. you. So Tony Sellers is just this random idiot who talks shit about everybody and like thinks he's like, like the best person in the world. And yeah. he's just a nobody. Like, 
Like, and it's not just me. Like, he goes after Strike First Media. He goes after Cobra Kai Kid. He goes after The Chosen One. He goes after yeah. freaking... He's uh, gone after me. Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai Nation. Like, goes after anybody who doesn't agree with him or he deems as sexist. Like, um, and, like, he's falsely accused me of... Um, being sexist towards Tori because I guess he saw me talking with Jacob on a live stream saying that like we agreed that like I don't know I don't know where he got it from but like apparently like me and Shamoon said like Hawk destroy Sam or something like I don't remember it like I have no memory of that so I don't freaking know what he's yapping about but but kudos, he but he also got banned from watch parties. I think he also yeah, got he's the, he's parties. the first. Yeah, fun fact: he's the first person to get banned from watch parties. And now I think he's banned from Strike First Media. Like, um, like the dude's a Hall of Fame clown. It's not even funny. Yeah. I've he's he's come after me. I've dealt yeah, with for, him. For, you know, for no I've, reason. And like he's, he's besides besides um you know who he's probably one of the biggest Sam haters too. And he's accusing yeah. us of being sexist too. And like, you know what's the funny thing is, is that he actually admitted on co on Watch Party stream on Monday that he has over three thousand uh, different accounts. Yet he's calling everybody else a fake. He's the fake because he like three thousand accounts. Like he has, he just said like he has over like or maybe three hundred or something like that. But he has. A bunch of different accounts that he goes by, yet he's calling everybody else a fake. Fake, fa oh fa gosh, fake, bro. this. Bro, fake. No life. He's the fake. He's the one pretend. He's the one going on different, pretending to be, to print, going under these different names, pretending to be somebody else. Yet he's calling every you and everybody else fake. Dude is down bad. Oh my gosh. Three hundred accounts is crazy. Like how how do you even have that time for that? That's so ridiculous. My my question is how do you come up with so many names for emails? Yeah, stuff? exactly, bro. Like don't you you have to make email you have to make an email for like different accounts. So it's, it's, but yeah, uh, you can send me the you can send I don't me even the, know. You can send me the photo, uh CKW if you if yeah. you want. On, on Instagram. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything on Twitter, so I'm just curious. Yeah, uh, you should actually, you should go to, to Strike First Media's, uh, that video and just, just see what I wrote and see if I, and, and tell me whether or not I did a good Tell me if I tell me whether or not I did a good uh, telling off of him. Is that his most recent video? Yeah, he is the reason why Tori won't compete or in the second tech uh, theory. I didn't get a notification. Like I usually get notifications that people respond to my stuff, but um, obviously I have them blocked, so I can't really see what he says. So, but he's a Hall of Fame bum, though. Yeah. Hmm. Like his takes oh, yeah, are so, think... like his takes are so ass. Like, like his arguments are just stupid. Like, like there's no way like you're this bad, bro. Like, there's no way you're that like your takes are hey. this ass. And yeah, I think actually him and Silver would actually get along perfectly. Yeah. Fighting. Really Which country. video is the comment under? It's uh the 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 theory that Strike First Media made about why Tori uh might not be competing in the Sekai Tekka, the one that he did yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, Tori wouldn't want Tori doesn't want to let Kawakai go global. No. Absolutely not. You know, I should probably make a video on why Tori will compete in the Sekai Tekka. I yeah. should probably do that. Yeah, and I have what a video out tomorrow when I will put up a new tab. Okay. Yeah, you should actually do. Yeah, you should. That's actually good idea. You should do. You should do why. You should do one. Um, why Tori will compete and what role she'll play, and yeah. that in the second tech guy. 
Double people like Tony Sellers and they're full of BS. They always think they're right. Yeah. Kevin Thompson to me is one of the people like Tony Sellers. I have no clue who that is. I mean, I, I don't. I mean, I, I, yeah, I've seen some of Kevin Thompson's. Uh, uh, um, Apparently, he's a Robbie comment. hater, I guess. I don't know. Uh, he's all, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's not a Tony Sellers, I would say that. I wouldn't say that, but. He because he does love Sam. Um, um, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say he's Tony Sellers, but uh, he does go a little bit like he's sort of like like in between. He he does go a little bit too far sometimes, but yeah, yeah, a lot of people do. Can't be real. That's impossible to have that much. Yeah. This would be in the Guinness Book of World Records. No, it's not the Terry Silver dude. The Terry Silver dude's a whole different weirdo. How many numbers does Terry Silver have to create the match? Like, this dude is just like, does anybody even follow you on social media, bro? Like, his mom probably. Yes. <laughs> no. Like, I think he's Tony's definitely a there. mistake. No, he's not the Silver guy. The silver guy, somebody else. Although I do think that him and Terry Silver would get along probably, perfectly. Probably they're probably friends, but it's whatever. I'm not seeing the comment that you're talking Dragon, about. Dragon Dragon Fire saying they're super annoying and never know when to shut up. Yeah. Let's see. Wait, Strike made a video saying that she won't compete. Yeah, it's his newest video on his channel. Yeah. Yeah, you should check it out. Are you excited for Transformers One? No, not really, because I don't think it's canon to the new universe right now. And it's an animated film and which I don't mind animated films, but with this one, they're having Chris Hemsworth voice Optimus prime for whatever reason. I don't understand why just get Peter Cullen to do it. I don't know why you're having Thor voice Optimus prime. It doesn't make sense, but it's whatever, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just not. <laughs> it's looking for pony bellers. <sighs> Dealt with this YouTuber had a black Goku picture. He's a Robbie fanatic and he's definitely the most obnoxious person I've ever met. Wow. Damn. I don't know why she wouldn't compete. Yeah, Strike's reasoning is because of her mom passing away. I think Tori yeah, won't want to compete because of her mom dying, but her friends will help her and it'll make her compete. That yeah. may actually motivate her to compete. Yeah. Like, creators are... Like, y'all understand the creators are way smarter than people yeah. give them credit for. I agree. Well, I agree, Cobra Kai Karate. And like I said before, I would be heartbroken. if she, Even if she doesn't win, I would still... Yeah. Well, I still want her to compete. I would be heartbroken if she did if she doesn't compete. And no excuse that they ever give, no excuse or reason that they give for her not competing in the Sekai Tekai will ever ever be good enough for me. And that will and that and then and then I will actually say that the creators do favor Sam over Tori. That yeah. they hate her character. And then to do her wrong like that. I I I like I said, I've said I know nobody I know a lot of people don't believe me, but I have grown to love Tori's character, and I want to see her compete. Sorry, I yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, she got to get. You got to give her highlights in the Psycho Tekka. Yes. Like every character deserves at least to get on the highlight reel. Yeah, they need a high point. Uh, that would be so bad for the show and disrespectful to her character that she never really wins anything to even compete. Yeah, that's so stupid, bro. For Transformers One, going to be said, yeah, it's uh, kind of a backstory. It's it's basically going to show you what happened to, between Optimus and Megatron before they went at war, and it's basically before Optimus even became Optimus Prime. Yeah. No. CW, who I have no clue who he is. He's just a random weirdo off the street, I guess. I don't know. Just yeah, that's exactly what I story. said, Cobra Kai Karate. I said, if any, uh, that's exactly what I said, Cobra Kai Karate. If anything, her her mom passing should be what motivates her to compete even more. 
Yeah. If anything, her mom passed her make her want to compete even more. Yeah. Like, I think she'd want to win it for her mom. Yeah. He's some random YouTuber who says crap to nearly everyone and everything. Oh, boy. Wait, I've, never, I've, never really, I've never really seen any toxic Robbie fans. I've only seen, like, toxic Sam fans, toxic Tori fans, and toxic Miguel fans, and toxic Hawk fans the most. But I've never seen toxic Robbie fans that much. Uh, Robbie fan, Robbie fans don't really bother me that much. Feel like Chris Hemsworth will voice Ryan Pax where he came out Prime. Okay, I don't think it has anything to do with the universe. Like I don't, it's an animated movie, so I don't think it has anything to do with the new universe. So like. So, like CKW, what's the worst theory you've heard about? Heard it like since Cobra Kai, like since the beginning. Like, what's the worst? Like the absolute worst that you? Well, ever I can think of a lot of things. Um, and Tristan will vouch for me because he was on the stream with me. Um, there was this dude who said that like Betsy could secretly be homeless Lynn, and I was like, "Huh?" God. I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, where did you, like, how did you even pull that out of your ass? Like, what? Like, that makes absolutely no sense. Wow. I've, I've heard a lot yeah, of, I've heard, I've, heard, I've heard a lot of bad ones over the years. Um, <laughs> no, no, that's the best one. <laughs> that, that, that's the best one. Are you kidding me? That's the best one. That's the that's the that's the best return. That's the best Cobra Kai theory of all time. We all know, we all know you're going to be doing doing jumping jacks when you see them on screen. Uh, yeah, the worst one. Yeah, from uh, yeah. Apparently, people thought that like Chris was secretly Tori's grandfather, and like he that. he he arranged he arranged for her to. Try out for the dojo in season two. I just, I'm like, that's way too deep. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but they even played with um, that theory in the Cobra Kai and the and in the in Cobra Kai season five. They even played with that. Yeah, uh, I think that was just just too funny though, and yeah. and I think that was just so Tori would actually be able to visit craze because yeah i know i know that yeah that 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 was obvious yeah but i'm just saying that they they even played with that theory yeah. a little bit <laughs> yeah and um <clears throat> after season three came out people were saying oh julie pierce is tori's <laughs> mom i'm like do you really think they're gonna have tori do you really think they can bring back julie pierce just have her die in a bed like seriously her movie yeah, wasn't that me. bad <laughs> That's surprising. Yeah, Reddit's the worst. I hate. I fucking hate Reddit. Like well, people are just that bad. Jeez. people are just weird on Reddit. Like, that's just so weird. For that too, it makes no sense. Love it when worlds say, "How do you even pull that?" Out of your head? Yeah, thank you. He probably lost his mind when he thought Chris was Tori's grandpa. Wait, that was, was that real or did he just do that for a joke? He also said that Ken Sung Young will compete in the Sekai Taikai. I'm like, dude, he's probably going to be 150 years old. Like, he's going to have <laughs> the hardest one. There's no way. Oh, yeah. Da, apparently, 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 everybody's Tori's dad, apparently. Like, Terry Silver, Mike Barnes, Priest, Dutch. Like, apparently, everybody's Tori's dad. Apparently, everybody's related to Tori, apparently. Didn't Payne do a joke about that? Yeah, everyone's my dad. Yeah, so she went on a podcast after season four. How like some of the actors tease her about being Tori's dad, like "I am your father." Oh, it's a Star Wars reference. Like, I guess Sean Kane and um, hopped on it and, and got her good. I guess I don't know. Yeah, could be Kim's father instead. That's what I'm thinking. It could be Kim's father. Tori, grandpa, is crazy. He's not, though. 
This does make sense. I mean, maybe a figure, but not actually blood related. Oh, all right. Let's see what Next else? You know, they'll be saying chosen is Kyler's grandfather. Oh. Oh God. And people. Oh yeah, people were saying that like Kyler and Chosen were related before no. season three came out. That was getting ridiculous. Yes. Um. What else? Um. People had a weird, absurd obsession with cock holding Daniel or cock blocking Daniel. Like apparently, oh, Amanda's gonna hook up with Johnny. Oh, Amanda's gonna hook up with Chris. Oh, Amanda's gonna hook up with Terry Silver. I'm like, oh y'all know that marriage does work. Like it's not like not every married couple has to be divorced. Like, like it's not necessary. Like the yeah, theory was that like Amanda was gonna get fed up with karate and she's gonna leave Daniel for Johnny and then Daniel's gonna go back to Kumiko. I'm like, that's wishful thinking, but it's not happening. Right. I mean, she did leave. I mean, she did leave Daniel, which was stupid. Yeah, but that, this theory was way before season five even came out. It's right. like after season two. Right. But I mean, which kind of was stupid on her yeah, part. Theory. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? That name, bro. What the hell? I've heard that theory too, but then it sounds <laughs> Kyler's Korean chosen Japanese. Yeah, I still watch that con from time to time. At least Shanna can't be unless. Okay, get out of here, you fucking casual. You have some really bad problems. The profile pics alone is an L. Honest. Dimitri is Hawk's dad. The fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dimitri's Hawk's dad. I remember when. Hawk's dad. Hawk's dad. I remember when Karate was scrolling through some article and it said that, and it was just weird. That one didn't even make sense at all. Yeah. Like, they're the same age. Or or Miguel's going to get Samantha pregnant. Oh, yeah, and then there, mm-hmm. stri- what Strike found this one, someone said that, like, Terry Silver's going to get Sam pregnant. Like, why are you even thinking about that? Like, why, like, why even think about that? And, like, I, I, I watched this, like, random video on Cobra Kai Studios' channel, and he deleted it because of the comments he was getting, which this is not his fault. It, he had a guest on who said this, so this is not on him. Um, right. This is the guest he had on there. So I was just listening to the video and I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Like the dude said that like, Oh, uh, Samantha is going to, um, sleep with Miguel because Tori's going to start bragging to her that she slept with Miguel in season two and slept with Robbie in the car in season four. What? And Sam's gonna get jealous, and Sam's gonna have a conversation with Amanda about it, and then Sam's gonna take the big step and sleep with Miguel. I'm like, first of all, you're th- you're a grown man pushing thirty years old. Why are you even thinking about that? Like, why are you even like? Why are you why are you theorizing about teenagers on whether they're gonna have sex or not? That's so like, that's actually disturbing. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, it's so. Yeah. And not only that, there was no indication that Tori and Robbie and uh, and Tori and Miguel even slept together at all. They were literally, they were literally just kissing. That's it. Right. Yeah, Karate. Right. What are you thinking? People just people just jump to conclusions. Although, and, and, just, Ro- although, and Robbie and Tori were so. like making out, but yeah. They just like they just jump to conclusions and just assume stuff. Centering so his profile name, you can guess what? Yeah. <laughs> heard a lot of stupid theories, but that has to be the most dumbest theory I've ever heard. Yeah, yet. there's also theories going on around that Robbie knocks Tori up. Yeah, bro. Because they think because Johnny did it to Shannon, Robbie's going to do the same thing. That's stupid. No. Also, yeah, the Hawk is a spy the theory. Point. That was probably one of the worst ones, too. And it turns out it went. wasn't a Hawk. It was Mitch. <laughs> yeah, it ended up being Mitch, not Hawk, but people are still 
is theorizing, oh, Hawk's a spy for Cobra Kai. He's not actually redeemed. I'm like, buddy, are you stupid? Like, but it's not even- you'll just make up shit for clicks, man. Yeah. Uh, I just read this one. Yeah, those are the those are the dumbest. That that's the dumbest theory. I'm trying to think of other theories that I other dumb theories that I've heard because what about the best yeah, theories? You've heard? Yeah, yeah, Peyton would not agree to that at all. No, no, no and neither would Mary. Mary. Yeah, neither would Mary. Like you could throw the absolute bag at both of them and they'll still say no. Yeah, because they have integrity and self respect. Yeah. That's what they want their characters to have. Which is the weakest, but yeah, bro didn't even yeah. try to bro didn't even try to hide it. Like, like you can tell he was falling for it in episode eight. So yeah, mm-hmm. you could tell he was falling for it in episode in episode seven. Yeah, yeah, when he that was eight. eating the- when he just started eating their snacks and stuff. Yeah. First, I thought it was like funny, but then I thought, you know, I was like, what the heck is wrong with that him? Um, so what's the best theory you've actually heard? All right, so um, one of my all-time favorites was from uh, <clears throat> the chosen one. Um, his theory was. Um, Cobra Kai Civil War, basically. So, um, it was for season five. Um, Kreese getting out of prison, you know, early and him confronting Terry Silver and saying, like, these are my students. And, like, everybody who was on, you know, Kreese's side, they go with him, like, Tori, Kyler, you know, um, and some of the others, but Kenny says I'm staying, and um, and then like so half of them go with Crease, and then the other half stay with Silver, and I just that theory was pretty awesome. So, you know, my favorite theory was, and this is ironically, it's the same, it's the ch- same one, the chosen one, Robbie yeah. coming home. Oh yeah, he got that one right. Yeah. That was my favorite one because I wanted that so much since season three. Yeah, the dude's a genius. He's brilliant. Yeah, he, him and Watch Party are, are very good. Yeah, I don't always agree with Watch Party. Like, I think he has some, I, pretty, I think he has some questionable takes, not just with Cobra Kai, but with Stranger Things as well. But, um, He's a chill dude, so. Yeah, he he is a chill dude. I mean, I don't always agree with him, but you have to admit, like, he does come up with some, like, not, like 95% of the time, he does come up with some pretty good stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What about you, CV? Uh, what about you, CVK? Uh, yeah. How much, how, like, what's the best theory you've ever heard? The best theory. Jeez. Not really sure. Oh, okay. Any uh, what's this? Any any any, uh, any best theories that you've heard of that that are mine? <laughs> You've had a lot of them, so I can't even think of them. I believe that Strife the Warrior also theorized that Cobra Kai's whole war might have happened before season five came out. Yeah, he's had pretty good character analysis videos, too. Yeah, he has. I wish he he's would. Done I a wish... couple, he's yeah. done a couple of gaming streams, too. Like, he yeah. played the Cobra Kai games on live. I, I hope he gets back to it. I hope he gets back to the back to that soon you know yeah it'd be it'd be cool to see him do yeah um videos again because he's got a nice channel um yeah she does for sure let's see 
You know what the best thing I'm hoping for for season six is that I'm just hoping that just for a solid close on everything, like no, like yeah. no, like no obvious leave leaving opens. Like I don't want like. We all theorize that Julie comes back in season six. I hope to God that she does not come back at the end of season six. Like that to me would suck. Like I don't want that to be like be, that would be pointless. Yes. Because so, Alex for your comment on the video. I don't see your comment either, but um, I see this. I see this guy that said like the pressure would be too much as he's the only female fighter for their dojo gun. He's talking about you know Sam, obviously. Um, but <clears throat> the, uh, the guy, the guy said, Alan Chamberlain. I don't want to start an argument, so I'm just gonna go. Right. Um. So if you push new comments, um, if you hit the, if you hit the new comments, um. Thing where, it, where it says where if you click where it says sword and you hit new comments, you might be able to see it. All right. Let me know if you can see it. All right. All right. Newest. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. All right. Um, it's a lot of comments on here. Damn. Okay, here it is. Oh, I see yours. Okay. I thought it was you replying to mine or something. I have the same theory that that's why she's not in training with them in Barcelona, but I honestly will be heartbroken if she doesn't compete in the Sayotega tournament. Even if she doesn't win, I want her to compete and really hope that she does. I actually hope that her and Sam win it together for a change. Yeah, that'd be cool. And then uh, this guy named Kristen said she'll compete. I hope Julie Pierce takes Tori under a wing. I could see that happening. Uh, I think it's. I think my. I think if you go down lower, let me see. You see. If you uh, go to the one that you did I yesterday, if you I go don't to, see. If you, I don't see where you call him out. I just see you talking with this. Um, so if you go to, if you go down to where your comment was, uh, to where to it should be down, it should be down there. Uh, okay, some idiot said, I don't think Tori will join me. Agado, she has a close relationship with Chris. That doesn't mean anything, yeah. Okay. I went down to mine. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't see it before. Leave CKW alone. He's not the fake here. You are, especially considering that you have and go under so many fake cons. Tony Sellers, you keep talking about how much you hate the show. You hate the big three and now. Cover cut content creators. Yet you're on here and watching, not liking a show and voicing why that is one of the one thing, but coming on and harassing people that don't agree with you. Who are fans of the show and trying to bring them over to your way of thinking is something different because you're a hater and all you're doing is spreading hate. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much what I told him. Yeah, I mean, I have him blocked, so I can't even see what he said. But I saw what no, you. No, I said. think I uh, no, I think that uh, I think Strike First Media has him blocked for okay. hopefully for good. Such an idiot. Such a yeah. He's a I, fucking idiot. No one likes him. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I just hope that um that. Like I said, I don't want Julie to come in at the very end of season six and then that's it. And then just end it like like they're creating some kind of opening for um yeah opening for a spinoff or something. Like I, that to me would be like a waste. I want it closed. Yeah, you can you can leave it somewhat open for to do a spinoff series like for like five years from now or something. 
Um, but you know, not that, not anything that big, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I just I don't want it to just be a set up for no. fucking a million spinoffs. Nope. Don't even need spinoffs to be honest with you. No, although the I wouldn't mind. A, I mean, it's fine. I just don't think we. I don't think you need them, but if they want to do them. Then fine. If you have more yeah, story I mean, to tell, then go for it. I guess. I mean, they did say they have uh, it. They have more story to tell, and the, the Miyagi versus isn't finished. I, for one, wouldn't mind getting a, a prequel uh, movie to for Mr. Miyagi, you know? Yeah, I mean, the like creators no, the creators uh, know more than we do because they work on it. Yeah, so. I mean, sort of like how look, look, sort of like how we're, what they're doing with Mufasa. Yeah. The Lion King. Yeah, I'm actually excited for that to come out. Cause well, I wouldn't mind them doing something like that, you know? Yeah, because uh, I've always wanted to see Mufasa's story, so I think that's cool. Oh, well, you know, I wouldn't actually yeah. mind if they did like a King Triton um, prequel either. You know? Yeah. So after the Warrior made a short mini theory clip about why Mike Barnes became the way he is, he and Sean McCain and commented that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Tanner said that they're really going all in with season six on a podcast. Yeah. He got interviewed because his movie just came out. Um, so Jim Tim makes sense since it's the final season. So of course they're going all out. Yeah. My theory is that Daniel makes a toast to Mr. Miyagi for the good man since he he became that man for Daniel. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, on the ground, I like that theory. I think Daniel, chosen Johnny, and Julie will make a toast, Mr. Miyagi, for all that good he's done. Yeah, that would be a good one. Literally, nobody asked, dude. Yeah. That actually would be, I would actually love that for for, Mr., for Daniel, Julie, Johnny, and Chosen to just all like toast. Actually, like bring the whole LaRusso Miyagi Do clan there, like for, for a toast for Mr. Miyagi. I like a reunion movie four years after the show ends, and that'll be 10th anniversary of the show. Yeah, Shimon mentioned that 2020. Actually, be the 10 year anniversary. That's crazy. Actually, you know what? Um I wouldn't mind if they did like for the four for the four years from now for the tenth anniversary, if that's when they did the Mr. Miyagi uh movie. Yeah. Prequel. I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind if we did if they did like a a sequel spinoff around the ki around the teenagers, like maybe around Sam and Tori, like five like I said, five years from now in their adult years, you know? Yeah, they're all grown adults. Yeah. I have to say that. I hope that it, that my theory, though, about with Tori's mom passing, um, like where Sam just comforts her. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I definitely want to see that. Or at the very least, like if they do have like if they do like um, the custody thing um, that Tori's aunt mentioned um, in season four, um where Sam just either tells the courts or tells the lawyer, you know, that she's, she's forgiven Tori. Like, even if, if Tori is that has like, let's say her and Tori, like got into this really big fight and, you know, like she keeps pushing Samantha off and, you know, um, then one day she gets approached by the lawyer or the attorney asking her to come into court, speak on Tori's behalf and she just, you know, she realizes that Tori, the the uh, the custody of Tori's brother is at stake, and uh, you know she uh, she meets the aunt, and she just says, you know what, um, I uh, I forgive. Yeah, when asked if she's forgiven Tori, she says yes. 
she's forgiven Tori and that they're on better terms now. And uh, that's what that's what allow that's what helps her win the case. Yeah. Agreed. Creator said they're gonna leave stuff open, so I can't see them not making a reunion movie. Yeah. Ah, bro, literally, literally nobody asked, bro. Like, does anybody even follow you on social media, bro? I don't even know if that's a real Tony Sellers, but even if it is, shut up. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear you. Nobody wants you in the comments. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you on this stream. Nobody wants you in uh, on this Cobra Kai content. So get out. Not not you guys. <laughs> yeah. Not not you guys. C CV. Uh, not you guys. Cinematic Versa uh, or uh, CKW. I wasn't talking to you guys. Okay. But yeah, I I mean I I don't know, that's a good question. I mean, it could be um maybe they're celebrating Mr. Miyagi's birthday or something. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe it would be the anniversary of the day they won the Sekai Tekai. Or their first All Valley. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, or Daniel's 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 first All Valley. I don't know. Or maybe the day that Miyagi Do Karate was created. Yeah. So what do you then, think? Uh, then the creator show you out on Twitter. Oh yeah, Hayden. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hayden W. Tony Sellers casual L. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, CQW, thanks for the uh, thanks for the W on uh, on the comments. Yep. What do you think the final fight will take place? Either in Okinawa or at Miyagi Do. I think it's going to take place at a burned down Miyagi Do. Yeah. Honestly, because think about it, they're going to be the second tech is going to be in a different country, which means they're all going to be wherever it is which means nobody's going to be at miyagi Do, and at that time i guarantee you silver will be as free as a bird and he's going to realize that nobody's fallen for his act anymore so he knows he's got nothing left to lose so i guarantee you he's going to have that dojo burned down yep and his reasoning for that is because Danny it says, Danny boy, you took away my dojo. I'm taking away yours. Yeah, I know people don't want it to happen, and I understand it, but it'd be a good way to set up the final battle. So Yeah, yeah. And because he's going to be like, Danny boy, you took away my dojo. I'm taking away yours. And... That's just that's back just the uh, that's just the type of line Silver's gonna cross. So, and that to me, because he'll in his mind he'll be he'll be killing Miyagi. He'll he'll be killing Miyagi because that's Miyagi's home. Like in at least in Daniel's eyes and and in Miyagi Do's eyes. Yeah, and like season five shows us that like there's like a special room in that dojo with like Miyagi's, you know. So I'm calling it right now. Life. The dojo is going, but yeah. the only thing that, but the thing that, the, but the thing to remember is, is that they won the Sekai Tekai, so they can franchise it. They can still, they can rebuild it. You know. Yeah. But I guarantee you that dojo. Yeah, is like, now. like no one's gonna be there to defend it. Yep. Yeah, and that's bro. where Silver's going to make his move. 
I mean, let's face it, he that's burned it. down more that's gardens, just, Jojo. That's just how evil he is. So he burned yeah, down Mike Barnes's Dojo. Volume one could end. Yeah, that'd be a crazy cliffhanger. That would make yep. the final two episodes interesting if they save nine and ten for volume two. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that when Daniel had chosen watching the house and the dealership, he didn't have anyone watching the watching the dojo. Yeah, that was weird. Like before Silver like, showed pretty, up. Like I'm pretty sure that's something Silver would mess with. Yeah. Someone's guarding it. Yeah, yeah. Um until Dan until um Silver showed up at the charity auction where I figured out what he was gonna do even before Daniel did, I knew he was gonna do that. I knew he was gonna try to I knew he was gonna put a wedge between Daniel and Amanda. By making Daniel look bad. Um, well, what's your source, Cobra Kai fam? Because Hayden confirmed there's 10 episodes. Yeah. Everybody keeps saying um, it's 15. I don't know why people keep saying that. But oh, honestly, I thought, I, mean, even I thought... Just, that just, because, <clears throat> just because Watch Party says it doesn't mean it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, His sources but, is his crazy-ass mind. Yep. But honestly, I thought that I thought that Silver was gonna go buy that dojo. Yeah. Like, cause that was the one. Yeah, it was like place. somebody should be guarding the dojo. I was like, somebody should be guarding the dojo. Yeah. Cause, cause I'm like, he's been there before. He knows where it is. And it's like you would think that if he burned down Mike Barnes's furniture store, what makes you think he wouldn't burn down the dojo? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he was snooping around in there and Carter Kid. Yeah. Burned. Yep. But yeah, I. Well, uh, let's ask uh, uh, Sanchez. Let's let's ask William Zapka, <laughs> because that's basically what they did, and for that's basically how we got Cobra Kai. No, people react to one of the cast members making their own martial arts series. Their character doesn't want it. Yeah. Let's ask Billy Zapka. That's because that's how we got Cobra Kai. Do you guys mind weekly release? I don't think that's happening. I wouldn't mind it though. I wouldn't mind it though, because like, because like Param Paramount did that with School of Spirits, and I liked it. It's my it's my dumbass dog fan cast. Yeah, you know, I, I they're not gonna do it, but I wouldn't mind it. White cats are better, y'all. No, dogs are better. <laughs> oh, a new franchise. I wonder if people would react to them. Oh, I just read this. I don't know. I don't know how people would react to a new. I wonder how people would react to one of the. Wait, I just read this. What the hell? Yeah. I'm not saying there's going to be 15, but I feel like 15 episodes can wrap up a lot. I was trying to find. I don't know how that would. I I I, I don't know, uh, Sinstro. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how that would. Um, how that would look. I'm talking I mean, about a new franchise outside of Karate Kid. I don't understand what he's asking. Dog sucks. Cats better. I believe the final fight will be against Sensei Kim and her father, along with the evil students. Interesting. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. That's just cap. Cats are quicker though. Yeah, they're quieter too. They don't bark <laughs> at everything. 
Like they bark at, like literally they just bark at everything. I'm like, you don't have to bark at everything, you know. Wait, there's somebody pretending there's somebody here that says that they're uh William Zapka. Yeah, it's a fucking fake ass account. I don't really care. Uh no, they're not the real William Zapka. Yeah, no, they're 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 like, not. Do you really, like, do we, are, would we, do you really think William Zapka would hop on some random Cobra Kai stream? Like, let's just be real for a second. I mean, it would be cool. <laughs> like, it'd be cool, but like, it's not realistic, though. Yeah. yeah no. Like, yeah, like, like I'm sure. Like I'm sure you would hop on like Nation Stream or freaking Cobra Kai Kids Stream, but not mine because yeah. mine's hard to find because I'm not as big of a YouTuber as those guys. Yo, plus um, they're filming right now. So. Yeah, Mr. Ben Ten, what's up, my man? What's up, boys? How's it going? Uh, pretty good. You? Not bad. Hey, not bad. hey Ben, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. That's awesome. Good to hear. Yeah. <sighs> so I don't know. I think I watched Party says he's got a feeling that we might get something in the next couple of weeks. Well, no, I don't. I mean, I don't think we're getting anything until. I mean, June. we could we could get a we could get an announcement that maybe they're dividing it into two parts. I mean, I wouldn't mind game. that. That'd be cool. True. I, mean, I have a feeling they're going to do that. I don't think we're going to get it as soon as May, though. So. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think so. But, I mean, we could get it like I, I mean, we could get They could announce something like that. I mean, that wouldn't be really spoiling anything because they're still, like, not, any, not the show anyway. Like, that wouldn't really be a huge spoiler. If they did something yeah. like that. Cats eat rodent dogs? No. He, no, he, no, he was saying cats eat rodents. He just didn't spell it right. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. The real Williams have given his fist, though. They could do it on May 2nd since that's when the first season came out. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, maybe I just don't see it. <clears throat> I just don't know what they would announce, though. So, so CKW, yeah. what's the... Yeah, yeah. CKW, what's the worst thing that, like, that they did in Season 5? Like, Season 5 was overall great, but, like, what's something you didn't like that you wish that they would have changed in Season 5? Oh, poor guy. Oh, freaking Amanda leaving Daniel. Yeah, and, that would be mine. That was just so out of character. Yeah. And freaking Kenny knocking out Hawk in freaking episode eight. That just didn't yeah, that seem ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I understand you had to get both dojos in, but freaking Hawk, like, seriously? Like, like this dude is fresh off a championship, and you're gonna have him get bitched by a 14 year old who's getting thrown around in dumpsters. Right. Like, are we being for real right now? Are we being for real? Yeah, mine. Gosh. Mine is the Amanda thing too. Um, you know that scene. Like, I don't like how, like, they basically like played her like for a fool, like for a fool, like with silver. You know, her believing so silver so easily, you know. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, when she met Cree, she saw through him right away. But with silver, she just fell for it. I'm like, you don't even know this guy. And you're just going to and you're just going to take his word for it. Like, you're just going to believe him saying, oh, your husband sent his friend to rough up my hires. Oh, I was just trying to. I w I'm just trying to run a business. Your your, your <laughs> husband has a problem with that. Like, right? Really didn't believe that shit. Like, right. seriously, and that's not even what happened yeah. too. Um, but yeah, like, the fact he, just, that he, was, he just met this guy. Like, and, and he's Chris's best friend. Yeah, that right like, you're gonna really believe left. this guy over your own husband. Like, that's so. Right. Like, give Daniel more credit than that. Right. Yeah, exactly. 
I mean, mm-hmm. and it's like, right. I, I mean, I get why they did it. You know, I wouldn't change them. Um, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change them. Um, how they brought Jessica back for anything, but you know, come on, you know, come on, Amanda. You know, you realize he was right about Crease, and after everything that they you, that you've been through with Cobra Kai, you ha- even you have to admit Daniel has a knack. For being right when it comes to Cobra Kai. No matter how far-fetched it may seem, he has a knack for being right. Would it kill you to yeah. just listen to him? Yeah. Like, I understand she doesn't want to deal with the karate drama anymore, but come on. He clearly needed her support. He clearly needed her yep. to believe. And I could have forgiven that scene if they had a scene where Amanda just apologized to Daniel saying, I should have listened to you in the first place. I should have believed you about Silver. I'm sorry. You yeah, know, I, should, was, I, I shouldn't have left you. That was wrong. Mm-hmm. I was the one that was wrong on that. Like, did she even give the kids a choice? Probably not. I, I, I know. So. I mean, yeah, honestly, no. who here Probably agrees not. that Sam would have stayed if she would have? Sam would have stayed a hundred percent. Yes, definitely. She was. She wanted the fight, but Daniel mm-hmm. wouldn't let her. Right, That's but right. if Amanda had a like, she obviously knew that her and Daniel were in a like Amanda and Daniel were in a were in the middle of a fight, and that's why they were in Ohio, which she clearly did not agree with, even though she was happy yeah. to see her grandmother. I mean, who here thinks that? that she agreed with Amanda's decision to leave. I don't think she did. Nah. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that if I think that if Sam had the choice, she would have stayed. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah, yeah, I get I get it. Fan cast uh, 100. Um um I think honestly, I think it was um, the thing of it is she she be- think that's really that's offsetting is that she believed Silver over Daniel. Yeah, it may not have necessarily been about Silver, but she believed Silver over Daniel. She actually believed her own husband could send somebody over to beat up a bunch of innocent people, unprovoked for no reason. I mean, and that to me. That to me was ridiculous. Why would she believe something like that from somebody she's only known for five minutes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like the first half of season, and like in that episode, they kind of like like dumbed Amanda down. Like, yeah. come on, Amanda. Yeah. Freaking yeah, freaking front wedgie over here. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly go that far. <laughs> so I don't got the whole cast joining the dance. And it's not, and, and she ought to know yeah, by right. now. She's been through enough. She's been through enough at this point with Cobra Kai that she ought to know by now. It's not Daniel's fault. Like seriously, she's seen how how, how Cobra Kai is, and how and how and how far they take things. If she needs a reminder, go look around. Go go look around. Go see the stuff that they, that's probably still broken in her house when they broke in and yeah. assaulted assaulted Sam and assaulted Sam and her Miyagi Do friends and Miguel and and Johnny and his students. Like she knows mm-hmm. how far Cobra Kai can take things. Yeah, am I saying that Daniel is not? It. it I'm. Am I saying that it's that Daniel is. Is I'm not saying that Daniel is blameless, like in particular, like when it comes to when it came when when Johnny was running the dojo. I mean, he definitely he was definitely a, a jerk ass in season one. But come on, but come on. At this point, she should be well aware of what Cobra Kai is capable of. I mean. <clears throat> She got motivated. I mean, Chris, Chris actually, she slapped Chris in season three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Chris pushed her to the point time. where she sla- actually hit him. Yeah. Where she actually yeah. hit him. Yeah, like, Chris pulled yeah. the owner reverse card. Right. And that's what Silva <laughs> was doing to Daniel. Like, come on. 
like crease got like like crease made it look at look look made amanda look like she was the aggressor when she by coursing her to slap him and she did yeah yeah I mean, and, and that's what's wanted over. to, but the actor probably is good. Oh, you're talking about Sean. Okay. Oh, Jessica, Mike, me, so he can, so she can confront Mike after. Yeah, I think he'll apologize. Yeah, oh, yeah exactly. And if she yeah. Amanda would have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amanda would have taken Daniel. Amanda would have taken Daniel about Terry Silver more seriously if she would have known about Kenny bullying Anthony. Yeah, she didn't. She wasn't even yeah. aware of that either. See, you see most of the writing in season four. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. That's see, that's, a, yeah. Much. See, we that's something else. She Marshall. wants to go back to normal. Oh she wants to go back to normal, and I get that. But the normal that she Holy wants shit. is, does she want to go back to the normal where her daughter gets into a hit and run accident and doesn't tell her about it? Does she want to go back to the normal where her son is a spoiled brat? And... Uh. Doesn't want to talk to it. Doesn't want to talk to anybody. Is that the kind? Uh, yeah, and just orders people around. Is that the normal she wants to go back to? Because that was the normal that we got in season one, right? Just as all of this was starting, right before all of this started. Yeah, for sure. Wait, what yeah. happened? No, I said Amanda wants to go back wants things to go back to normal which i get but <laughs> what kind of normal does she want to go back to she has to think about what kind of normal does she want to go back to the type the type of normal where her daughter gets into a hit and run accident and doesn't tell her about it or the type of normal that her well her son's a spoiled brat and just orders people around and it's generally unlikable is that the kind of normal because that's the kind of normal we got we saw what was going on right before all this started. Yeah. Uh, CKW, yeah. are you there? Yep. So is that the kind of normal that she wants to go back to? I mean, I wouldn't want to go back to that, but... Right. <laughs> There's no way it's Ralph Macchio. No. It's obvious. No, not. It's, it's not Ralph. Because again, again, same thing for Billy Zepka. Why the frick would he join some random Cobra Kai stream that's not even that popular? So I don't understand it. Yeah, it would be awesome. Yeah, it'd be they're great. They're currently not filming and they're on their break time. Yeah, clearly. Yep. All right. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go. It was just a great stream. I, I can't wait to, to talk to you guys uh, ne uh next week. Um, yeah. Do you go on CKW? Do you go on Instagram a lot, or do you pretty much just stay off of it? Like, um, I check it a few times a day. Because I because I've tried because I've tried reaching out to you, but I haven't. Um, I haven't like gotten a response uh, back. I mean, I, I'm just curious. That's all. Yep, my fault. Yeah, no, yeah. So don't forget to send me that photo, okay? All right. Yeah. So I'll see you on um on uh I'll see you, I'll see you on Instagram and I'll see you guys next week, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye, bye. Take care. See you. All right. Sir, Tony. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Tony said that was about. Oh, never mind. I know who. All right. Sixers, Knicks, first round. Go, Philly. Uh, yeah, go Philly. For sure. All right, and then let's see the other game. Okay.
Okay, close game between the Hawks and Bulls. Come on, Chicago, pull through. Yeah, for sure. They were whooping them. At the, when the game started, the Bulls were whooping them. But now it's a close game. Oh, boy. Let's see, Trey Young has only 10 points. Wow. And DeRozan's got eight. DeRozan's got eighteen. Nice. They're at halftime. Seventy-three to sixty-seven at halftime. Scoring's getting scoring's getting out of control. I'm telling you, we're gonna get Miami first round. Don't sleep on the Bulls. Just saying. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, but that gut feeling. you know, I think. Our first round matchups is going to be the most difficult, if I'm being honest, except for the finals if we get that far. Um, definitely, especially if it's Miami. Yeah. I'm not a Planet of the Apes sure. guy, so no, I'm not going to watch it. I might watch, watch baseball. It. Yeah, um, a little bit. Um, my Red Sox are kind of ass, but – Getting um, for the Red Sox uh, this weekend. Yeah, we're getting yeah we're getting waxed. We beat the Guardians today. Hopefully. Finally, finally, we beat the Guardians today. I Guardians are the Guardians are really good. Um, they're winning their division right now, and then we're dead last in our division. Damn. Um, let's see, Red Sox. I think. Do we play the Guardians again tomorrow? Yeah, we do. So we have one more game against the Guardians, then we're heading to Pittsburgh to play the Pirates, which we're probably going to get smoked because they've been really good. Yep. Yankees on top, unfortunately. All right. Uh, Yankees. Fucking hate them. All right, yep. Two to zero, not that impressive of a score, but just needed a win. That's all. Then, of course, we got Cleveland again tomorrow, and then Pirates. Like to like to win one more game before the Pirates game. Um, but yeah, baseball is my least favorite out of the four. I like. Basketball, football, ice hockey, and then baseball. And then I don't care about soccer. I really don't. No offense to anybody. How are you Soccer's feeling about the Brewers? Uh, and then NHL playoffs are upon us. How do you feel about the Bruins? Um, I'm skeptical because we've lost a lot of games this year that we should have won. Um and last year, we probably had, like, the biggest collapse I've ever seen. We had the best oh, regular God. season record of all time just to blow a three-world lead against Florida in the first round and lose game seven. I was just, I was not happy. Oh, man, but that was awful. I like our matchup in the first round. We have the Maple Leafs. Which I'm pretty That's sure we have their good. number. We have their number, so we should be able to beat them. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Toronto beats us, though. I think it's going to go seven games. Yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be a good series. It's a nice rivalry. Um, and then the Capitals got the final playoff spot. Uh, they beat us, too. Like We lost our last two games of the regular season, but I'm fine with it because I didn't want Tampa Bay in the first round. Because Tampa Bay owns us. They always beat us. Tampa, yeah. It's like lightning have been like I remember like around like 2017, 2018, like they were always like really good and like they were always favored to win it, but they ended up choking in like the later rounds. Yeah, and then they were finally able to put it together. Top five favorite or who do I think are the best? players in the NBA. 
Top five NBA players. Ooh. Man, that's that's hard. All right, so as of right now, got the Florida Panthers versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. That should be a good one. Go Panthers. Uh, the Bruins versus Maple Leafs. We have the New York Rangers versus the Washington Capitals. And the Carolina Hurricanes versus the New York Islanders. And then over in the West, we got the Dallas Stars versus the LA Kings. And then we got Winnipeg Jets versus the Colorado Avalanche. Vancouver Canucks versus Nashville Predators, uh, karate's favorite team. Uh, Edmonton Oilers versus the Vegas Golden Knights, the defending champs. Ooh, baby. So pretty good. Pretty, I don't know which one's my favorite matchup. There are matchups, probably Bruins, Maple Leafs, if I'm being honest. But I like uh, that. So and okay. As the, battle, see, the Battle of Florida. Yeah, that should be a fun one. I'm going to get going, so I'll see you guys next week. All right, have a good night, dude. Oh, favorite? Oh, favorite players. All right, so. Number one is Tatum. He's my favorite because he plays for my favorite team. Mm-hmm. Number two, Victor Webanyama from the Spurs. Very fun player to watch. 7-4. Um, <laughs> uh, can hit three-pointers, play defense. Um, very fun player to watch. Number three is Paolo from the Magic. Love watching him play. <clears throat> Great player. Um, very good at defense. Um and you know he can score as well. Um, number four, um, hmm. number four. I'm gonna go with Jalen Brown. He's fun to watch. Oh, yeah, He's a good yeah. player. Very, very underappreciated player. And uh, number five. Um, hmm, I don't want to go with number five. Um, oh, um. Let me think. Um, there's a lot of good players because there's there's players that I don't like, and then there's players that I like, and then there's players that I just don't care about. Yep. Um, probably go with Shea at number five. He's fun to watch. Mm. That's a good one. Shea or Morant, Morant too. He's fun to watch too. As long as he stays out of trouble, he's fun to watch. Oh yeah, that guy. Um, no, hey, what's up, Cobra Kai fam? Farm fam? Farm. Uh, lots of fun matchups in the NBA. Got the Cavs versus Magic. That's going to be a fun one. Oh, that's going to be good. I'm rooting for Orlando. I hope Orlando wins. Oh, yeah. I think that's serious. I think that series goes seven for sure. Oh, I, yeah, I see that. All right, and then potentially Celtics Heat rematch. Um, just don't fuck it up. I think it goes to six at best. I can see it going seven, though. Uh, oh, God, I hope not. I mean, I have Jimmy Butler, so it's anything's possible. All right, then we got the Bucks versus the Pacers, which. I I think that I don't know how Milwaukee fell all the way to three. Ooh, damn, like that's insane. Like, they, and they have Damian Lillard and Giannis, and somehow they got worse. That yeah, that's that's crazy. Yes, it's the dumbass dogs barking at absolutely nothing. Um, and then. New York versus Philly. Um, I don't know how New York's the two seed. That's fucking absurd. I don't know how they got the two seed, but yeah, um, that's, that's kind of crazy. 
Because, like, all it is is Brunson and a bunch of role players. I don't know how the fuck they're the two seed, but um, I'm confident Philly will beat them because the Sixers can get past the first round. That's no problem. They've got, they haven't lost in the first round since the bubble, and that was against us. Um, they got Embiid. Oh, yeah. they, got, they got Embiid. They got Maxi. They got Tobias Harris, pretty good. Uber has been pretty good. Buddy Heald's a sniper from three. So I'm I'm confident that Philadelphia will take him out. Um Yeah, because they can. They can. That's probably that's probably the worst match. The Knicks yeah, probably got the right. worst first round matchup, if I'm being honest with you. Because oh. yeah. like because Embiid's healthy and Maxi might win most improved. I mean, he's the favorite to win most improved. Yeah, they don't they don't want to see Philly. Yeah. So and they have a good coach too. Oh yeah. And with Thibodeau, for some reason, he keeps his players in way too long. Like he did it with Derrick Rose, and look what happened with Derrick Rose. Like, oh man, I remember that. He keeps his players in way too long. Like, like when there's two minutes left and they're up by thirty, he keeps his star players in. I'm like, dude, take them out. Yeah, I mean, what are you doing? They they don't need to play. Like take them out. Just so over to the West. The West is really interesting. Um, yeah, you is. have you have. Um, we don't know who the Thunder are going to play yet. Um, Pelicans Kings is the playing matchup because the Kings ended the Warriors dynasty. Um, <laughs> yeah, Clay's cooked. Clay's done. Um, um, but I'm actually going to pick the Kings because Zion is not going to play because of his injury. So there's a lot of question marks for the Pelicans. When is that guy not injured? He was going off. To, he had 40 points, too. And if they lose, it's sad because they were the five seed at one point. So um, I think it's possible they split them up. I think they'll keep Zion because he's pl- he played the most games in his career this year. So he actually stayed. I'm like, wow, he's actually healthy for once. Um, but just unfortunate. But I think it's possible they trade Ingram because Ingram only had 11 points in this game. So I was just I was disappointed. Oh wow! Like he usually puts up 20 points, but you know. Like you gotta, you gotta do better. You gotta step up. Um, but okay. I think they can get value out of him because he's a pretty good player. He's a star level player. So, um, but I think the Kings, this the Kings have just been playing with more heart, more passion. Um. And they're playing with like a lot of confidence. Like you can see the confidence with Fox, Sabonis. Oh yeah. Um, the Keon Ellis guy's been really stepping up defensively. Like very underrated player right there. Um, that's good. They're at a disadvantage because they don't have Herder for the year, and they still don't have Monk right now. And Monk was huge for them last year. Like he was hitting insane shots against the Warriors last year. Damn. Right, I remember that. But um, definitely want to see Kings versus Thunder. See Shea versus Fox. That's probably the easiest matchup for the Thunder in the first round because they are the youngest team in the in the West. So it'll be interesting. Um, but we got a lot of interesting matchups in the West. We get the Nuggets versus the Lakers, a rematch of the West Finals. Um, it'll be interesting if that's a if that's a sweep again, or if the Lakers actually are able to get at least one oh, or two yeah. on them. I mean, I'd be shocked if the Lakers end up beating them. That'd be crazy, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, no, I don't see that. I hope they get swept again. Yeah. Um, now the hardest matchup to predict: Timberwolves Suns. Oh um, this is going to be a tough one because 
the Suns have won every matchup against the Timberwolves. So this is going to be interesting. I think this goes seven for sure. Karate and talks team. Yeah, that they they were already going at it in the chat. Even it, it was like they were they were tag teaming zone because the Warriors lost, and then they just started going at each other because they're debating to roll Suns. Oh my god! But oh man, I hope we're just gonna sit back and watch the chaos happen. That's gonna, that's gonna be good series. MCL injury and Jimmy Butler's knee. The injury could sideline Butler for an indef- indefinite period. MRI to come. Jimmy really played 40 minutes tonight despite injuring his MCL in the first quarter. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Because if we get them in the first round, if we beat them, Karate's going to come up with the excuse. You only won because they didn't have Jimmy Butler. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Always with the excuses. Yeah, it's fucking annoying. That's all right. Let's see, but I think Suns get it done in seven. They have Kevin Durant. They didn't go out and get Bradley Beal just to lose in the first round. And then Clippers Mavericks in the first round for the third time in the past five years, I think, because they played in the bubble and then they played again the year after that and Clippers won both of those series. But I got Clippers in seven. They got James Harden. James Harden and as long as Kawhi and PG stay healthy, Clippers should win this one on this in seven. Yeah, I like Clippers in seven. Yep. But it'll be a good series. But very exciting playoffs oh, yes, for sure. We got the NFL draft next week. Um that should be interesting. Oh man. Next week already. Yep, so finally, um, we already know who's going number one. It's just, like, after number one, anything fair game. Oh, yeah. Because, like, there's a debate on who Washington's going to take, too. Because a lot of people think they're taking Daniels at two. Which a lot of people are sleeping on Drake May for whatever reason. Drake May to the Giants. Which I just want a quarterback <laughs> at three. And I like I like them both. So whoever they leave us, I'm fine with. As long as we don't take McCarthy, because that'd be fucking stupid. I don't have a good feeling about him. I just have a feeling he's going to be another Mac Jones if he's not in a good situation. He he, he has potential to be bust. Yeah, like if anybody has bust potential, it's him. Like Cardi keeps saying, like he keeps saying, oh, Caleb Williams has bust potential. He's going to be a bust. Uh, it's really it's really McCarthy with bust potential. Yes. Like I could see Penix being better than him. Oh, for, for sure. Because like I think, I'm pretty sure Penix put up, I think Penix put up better stats, and he had a lot less weapons. Like he really only had Roma Donze, and then his offensive line wasn't that good. And he throws left-handed too. Oh, that's right. I I always forget he's a left-handed QB. I think he'll have a great career. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. He'll be very good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this draft class is really good. 
It is. It's it's, it's deep. Especially uh, for wide receivers. Oh man. Like so many good prospects. That's big. Yeah. Good thing my team was bad in the right year because this is the right draft class. doing oh yeah 85 93 bulls are up nice seventy three points in the one hour damn twenty eight points for DeJounte Murray, Trey Young only has 17 points. There's a lot of talk that Trey Young might get traded this offseason. Ooh. I see it. Kobe White is balling. He's got 22 points. Dang. And Vucevic has 20. Shit. Play your song. What? What's your song? What the heck? What? I don't know. This dude's talking nonsense. I guess I don't know. Play your song. The only thing, the only thing I can think of is that video that Karate made. Oh gosh, the AI video. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cardi thought he was clever. Paid this one for you. Oh, oh my god. That, that was so ass, bro. <laughs> like, you want to make a funny video, then fine. But why did it have to be me singing Justin Bieber? Ugh. Oh god, that's awful. I hate that dude so much. Fuck Justin Bieber. Yeah, I'm not playing that. Sorry, dude. Not playing it. Is that what he was talking about? Yeah, apparently that's the song he wants me to play. I'm not playing that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nice try, buddy. You're not clever. You're not slick. After the stream, I'm gonna go react to the highlights.
yeah, I'm just not a soccer guy. Sorry, dude. But if you enjoy it, then, you know, good for you, I guess. Destination Calabria. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. It's so ridiculous. What the hell is even that? Yeah. I believe in May they I think in May they released the official NFL schedule for next season. Oh, I think you're right. I can't wait. And then of course the Patriots have the hardest schedule in the NFL. Do they really? So, obviously, we have Jets, Bills, and Dolphins twice a year. We have to play the NFC West this year. So, we have to play the Niners, the Rams, the Seahawks, and the Cardinals. And the Cardinals are actually going to be a challenge because they're going to have Marvin Harrison most likely. Oh, man. So, he's probably going to burn the fuck out of Gonzalez probably. And then we have to play the Bears this year, too. So we get to play against Caleb Williams. So that should be fun. The Bears. <laughs> then we have the, the AFC South. So we have to play the Texans, who are a super team now, because they have Ooh. Stephon Diggs and CJ Stroud and Joe Mixon. And then on defense, they have Daniil Hunter. They have Daniil Hunter and Will Anderson on the same side of the football. Then we have the Colts, who have Anthony Richardson back. And we have to play the Titans, who stole two receivers from us that we could have signed. Could have signed D-Hop, and we could have signed Ridley. But, of course, the, tech, the Titans outbid us. And, yeah, that's going to be fucking awesome. Um, and then we have the Jaguars too. Um, Mac Jones revenge game, maybe I don't know. Probably not, but <laughs> um, and then we have to play the Chargers, and then of course we have to play the Bengals. Ooh, we gotta play. We have to play the Bengals the year after, too, because we have their division in 2025. Ooh, 
So, I mean, we'll play. So, 2025, we have the AFC North. And we also have the NFC North that year, too. So, we'll have to play the Bears two years in a row, too. We are. So, we're, we're screwed. I can't wait to see when uh, we play Philly. That's, that's looking forward to that game. I want to see – I definitely want to see um, Steelers versus Broncos. I want to see Russell Wilson revenge game Ooh. against Denver. Ooh. Dude, I cannot wait for that. It would be so much fun. Imagine if that's week one. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, man, I can, I can see that. I can see that. It would be interesting to see who the Chiefs are playing in week one. Shit, that's right. Kind of hoping it's the game. Bengals. I'm kind of hoping it's the Bengals because they might save that for later in the season, though. I could see that, but I could also see that being opening night. Yeah. Do they play? Uh, do they play Buffalo? Um, let me check. Bulls up 111 to 89. Nice. Get done, Bulls. Also, the Bucks aren't going to have Giannis to start the playoff series against That's the right. Pacers. I see the Pacers winning the first two games because they have Halliburton. Mm, yeah. All right. Um, 2024. NFL. Let's Good day. Let me see. Bills are going to have to replace uh, Diggs in the draft. Oh, yeah, that's true. Man, I feel bad for Josh uh, Allen. I don't think they're going to trade Diggs because um, they restructured uh, Allen's contract. Yeah, come on, man. Let's see if the Bills have the Chiefs this year. They do have the Chiefs this year. Okay. Ooh. Eagles will probably win their division because they got better. They got Saquon. Yeah, Eagles. No, I'm not playing your freaking song, dude. Oh my god, what is with this guy? Oh. 
Have you guys got caught up on the new Star Wars shows or episodes? I don't have Disney Plus, so I can't. And not really. Disney kind of killed my passion for Star Wars. So Rise of Skywalker is not good. Sorry. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. This makes absolutely no sense. This is so brutal. Like Palpatine died in episode six. That kind of ruins the ending of episode six. Like if you wanted a big bad, then you should have kept you should have kept Snoke alive in episode um, eight. Yep. And episode eight wasn't that good, but no, I didn't like I didn't like eight. Seven seven's all right. I mean, seven's cool, but like, let's just be honest. This trilogy is just a repeat of the OG trilogy, just with different characters. Yep. Yeah. Really. Bro, we can talk about whatever we want, and when Cobra Kai is done, we're going to be talking about other things. So, it might as well get used to it. Yeah, seriously. I'm going to end it in like three minutes anyway. Because we're almost at the two hour mark. If you don't like it, get out. All right, have you been? Uh, do you have uh, NHL, the game? I don't have 24. Yeah. Over. I have it on. 23. I have it on Xbox, so um, <clears throat> it's it's decent. It doesn't piss me off as much as Madden does and 2K. Oh man! Like that Madden just fun. Madden just pisses me off. Like, oh, oh you're just are oh, you just joking? All right, my bad, dude. My bad. Yeah, sorry. My bad. <laughs> well, the Tyler and TT guy, the Dolphins guy, is ranting about he losing to the Sixers. This guy's a Florida fanboy. Oh, God. This guy is so annoying. Like, he has the worst takes. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. F that guy. Yeah, the guy. That's so dumb. Also, apparently Robert Kraft called the Falcons owner and said, don't trust Bill. Oh, I saw that. Man. I mean, technically he's not wrong, but still, like, that was dirty. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Because it was looking like the Falcons were going to hire him, and then out of nowhere, nope, we're hiring Raheem Morris instead. Uh, yeah. And then a report came out that Bill has interest in coaching the Cowboys or Eagles next season. Which I can see Cowboys because if they choke again, Mike McCarthy has to. McCarthy has to be out of there, and Dak wants sixty million. That is just insane. The magic to offer Clay Thompson a ton of money next summer. Really? <laughs> yep. They have a little bit of cap space and. Um. They have a good defense. They have good defenders. They just need more scores. So it'd be interesting yeah, if Clay would start for them or not. I could see that. Angel. 
Yeah, and I see Magic fans saying, no, thank you. He's washed. Uh, I could I could just see him straight up retiring if I'm being honest. Why don't Chargers play Steelers anymore? Because I thought they played against each other every year. Depends on the standings or the divisional rotations. Yeah. So, like, if you have the um, – so you guys are in the AFC West. So if the AFC – the AFC West plays against the AFC North, then you would play them. Um, I think we'll play or, next year. Or if you're – and it goes by standings too. So if you don't have their division, but um, you're both finished second in your divisions, then you'd play them. Yes. That's why, that's why we have to play the Bengals because they finished last in their division too. And, and. But um going to end off this stream. This was awesome. This is a fun stream. Um, thank you all for watching. Shout out to Ben for popping in. That was awesome. Yeah, um, of course. Always. You know, he's the man. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Cobra Kai never dies. Never dies. Bye-bye.